G'day viewers. Well, I had a little rant recently about a particular sort of stupidity that affects supposedly left-wing or progressive, usually young people, usually uni students, and how they think they know all the world's problems and how to solve them, and how they're on some elevated plane, and uh, the only reason the world doesn't conform to their worldview is because everyone else isn't as enlightened as them. And I talked about how much that annoys me, even when I was a first year uni student. That shit pissed me off. Well, I want to have a go now at one example of a similar sort of mental illness that happens usually to young people, usually on the right. And that's when they become devotees of the writings of Ayn Rand. Now, if you don't know about Ayn Rand, uh, she wrote a few books and essays and some political tracts and developed uh, a theory that she liked to call objectivism. Now, a very overly simplistic summary of objectivism is it's all about the individual. Selfishness is promoted as the ultimate ideal, and altruism or charity, well, it's essentially a sin. Although she's an atheist as well, so she wouldn't use terminology like sin. She wanted to replace uh, the cross as a dominant symbol in America with the dollar sign. That's kind of cute. Now, most people who study philosophy, or even politics, don't regard Rand as a philosopher. They regard her as a bit of a joke because the pseudo-philosophy of objectivism is so shallow, and it's so easy to blow out of the water. But, oh, hey, a political philosophy that's shallow. It's not like that's unusual. It really, at the core of it, the pseudo-philosophy of objectivism is no inherently worse than socialism or communism or capitalism or libertarianism, it's another philosophy. And I'll get to what pisses me off most about the Ayn Rand assholes and why I want to scream shut the fuck up at them, but I'm just going to lead in with uh, a commonly observed pheno phenomena. Most people who get really excited and carried away and have their world changed when they read Rand are assholes. Why are they attracted to it? Because it tells them to be selfish is the right thing. It's positive reinforcement of a horrifically negative personality trait. And when these people are underachieving, fucked up losers, as they almost invariably are, what's their excuse? Well, as Rand said, it's everyone else holding them back. If only these strong, powerful individuals were allowed to do whatever they wanted, all would be great. They're not failing because they're fucked up, miserable losers. No, it's because the great masses are dragging them down to their level. It is the most pathetic fucking circle jerk going. As much as that got me a little worked up, that's not what pisses me off most about the Ayn Rand assholes. When someone holds up the Fountainhead or Atlas Shrugged as their guiding force in life, how it's the philosophy that all makes sense. It's how the world should run. There, there's just, there's really only one thing. And I feel like I should say it gently because they can't take a shock. They're actually fairly delicate little flowers these times. They don't cope with criticism. I'll, I'll put this as gently as I can. It's fucking fiction, you morons! Rand was not a scientist. Rand was not writing a concrete philosophy. Rand was writing fiction. Really kludgy fucking fiction. Her fiction doesn't have characters. It has archetypes that serve as self-fulfilling prophecies. These archetypes don't have conversations. They make fucking speeches. In fact, it's notorious in Atlas Shrugged. It climaxes with a 70-page speech. How fucking far up your ass does your head have to be to think a 70-page speech is a great moment in philosophy? The really fun thing is, and this is how to blow these Ayn Rand assholes out of the water, if you are true to that pathetic pseudo-philosophy, you're not allowed to criticise me for saying this. Because in my rational self-interest, I feel good calling you out for the bunch of pathetic little cock punches you are. See, this is me, the individual, saying you, the collective mass of pumpkin heads, are fucking morons. And if you want
want to get a little hissy fit and go on and on about why I'm not allowed to say it, you're rejecting your own philosophy. And you fucking should because it's fucking brain dead. You know what? If you want to be a self-obsessed arsehole, go for it. I'll just avoid you. If you enjoy Rand's writing, that's fine. But citing how many copies it sold, yeah, that's a real measure of quality. By that measure, that's the same as saying Twilight is the most high quality literature going around at the moment. And you're right, in fact, Twilight makes more fucking sense than Ayn Rand's so-called philosophy. Even those stupid fucking sparkly vampires have more integrity than the shit Ayn Rand wrote. So yeah, Ayn Rand assholes, talk your way out of that. If you contradict me, you're contradicting your own fucking god. And if you say anything stupid about how many people read the books, proves the books are good, you're holding up fucking shit like Twilight as the greatest achievement in modern literature. So knock yourself out with that. Tie yourself in knots, you shallow, facile, pathetic little boys. And that's not sexist. Although Rand was female, the vast majority of Ayn Rand assholes are male. And hey, look, just wait for someone to type in comments how they're female. Oh yeah, some completely random anonymous person trying to make a point says they're female. I believe you. And you know, even on the off chance that a female Ayn Rand asshole starts going on about how great they are and how dumb I am, I'll even refrain from how the Ayn Rand heroines get raped into submission. Good luck with that philosophy guiding you through life. And another awesome bit of stupidity they go on with is one of the hero characters, John Gold, saying how all these great leaders should go on strike and take their glory and mightiness out of the economy, which would collapse because all these little slugs can't do it on their own. They need these mighty leaders. Oh, get fucked! You know what these mighty leaders did, like Alan Greenspan, who literally kissed Ayn Rand's ring, who's the central fucking architect of the global economic disaster we're facing? Hey, who knew? When you give assholes complete control over money, they do asshole things, and they fuck it completely. And then they line up for their communist handout from the government. The fucking hypocrisy, I shouldn't be surprised by it, but it really is quite stunning. And I wish these motherfuckers would go on strike. I wish they would extract themselves from society. Because first, these motherfuckers are the ones causing the problem. But second, the insane idea, you could, the head of every single fucking company in the fucking world could go on strike tomorrow. And they would not fucking be missed. Someone else would jump in and take their place. And fuck, when you look at the way companies are fucking up, Nine out of ten of them would be better off. So go on, all you Ayn Rand assholes. Go on strike. And don't fucking comment on this video. Don't disagree with me, because then you're rejecting your own philosophy. Most of all, just shut the fuck up.